Hey guys, this is Najam. Welcome back to another video. Now, a couple of viewers recommended that I actually do a USB test on this to see whether it's outputting the actual ratings. And I'm going to be honest with you, I know that this doesn't really output the 100 watts and 65 watts or even of any of the others. Um, I'm not sure if it actually outputs um, 18 watts, but I know for a fact that it doesn't output 100 watts on this one because I have seen some of the reviews on this. Um, people have done some readings on this thing and they say you get about 65 ish something on the um, top one over here so now i've got myself this usb tester i'm gonna test this with my laptop which requires 100 watts to the type from the type c i'll also test it with another laptop which does 65 watts and we'll test it with my phone as well which does uh, about 15 sorry i mean yeah, I, I believe 15 watts, maybe like 18 watts. So, it, I mean, I haven't really had any issues with using this because it just works for me. So this is a bit awkward, but uh, it is charging the phone at 14.5 uh, watts from the uh, red USBs. And I'm going to actually go ahead and test that out. And the phone is uh, does actually use um, 15 watts of charging. Man, that's pretty cool. It's charging at 5 watts. Not. Okay, now it's charging at 15 watts. Okay, it does actually start off um, just charging at 5 watts or something and then it jumps to 15 watts. Uh, I'm assuming that has something to do with like the phone requesting it or something. Because charging the phone on this, I haven't really come across any issues with it really. Um, let's go ahead and I want to try out the Type C port and then just plug that into the laptop. Mm -hmm. And that's weird, yep. Okay, that's, that's running at 40 watts, which is. Not good, but I think I have a feeling it might jump up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and plug it back in because it doesn't seem to be changing. Now, to be honest with you, this... Um Okay, uh, this is gonna actually just show 40 watts, which is not good because it says 100 watts, and so that's a bit of a lie. I'm assuming it might be this laptop actually, um, might be. I'm just assuming that I'm gonna go ahead and test it with a different laptop to see whether it does charge at uh, 65 watts. Um, but this does not, it does not charge at 100 watts. Let's go ahead and try a different port, and I don't think it's even gonna accept it because. It needs I'm not sure, I mean it's charging at the same speed. I think it might be the laptop. And it's not really running at one hundred percent the speed. I mean it's it's really, really, really slow. Okay, I think it just seems to be charging at um, 40 watts of power. That's interesting. Okay, the laptop is just not going to accept apart from this one because that's 20 watts. Um, let's go ahead and try the phone on this port. I 
think it displays broke or something similar with it. Nine watts, that's weird. Okay, so that's the phone. I mean, it charges at 10 watts. It goes up to about 15 watts, I believe, but... Yeah, Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed that it did actually jump up to 50 watts, but um, that's like probably the best you're gonna get out of this thing. Let's go ahead and try the um, other laptop, and I mean it's just gonna it's been hovering at 40 watts for a very long time, so I don't think there's gonna be much of an improvement. Okay, the final test I'm going to do is test out my previous laptop, which does charge at 54 watts when on Sunday load, so it should go to at least 50 watt for what's on this thing to see if it even charges let's go ahead and just plug this in aha uh -huh, it does go to 50 watts let's go ahead and plug in the other laptop as well the, the new one and okay that's understandable i'm actually going to go ahead and switch this around Okay, looks like the laptop is dropping out of charging and then starting to charge back again and then it keeps doing that continuously. It stops charging and then it just starts charging again. Okay, that is weird. And as you can see the reading is correct because I know that this uh, laptop, when it's under load, it does pull out these um, wattages. I mean, yeah, sure, this laptop is actually pulling the correct power from this and I'm not going to be able to test out uh, whether this does output 100 watts because the only device I do have is this newer laptop and it just seems to be a bit junky, I don't know what's up with it. Um, it doesn't seem to be pulling out even 50 from this power brick. So now the laptop is uh, powered off and is charging while it's off. And as you can see, it's pulling 20 watts, which is actually the correct voltage that it pulls from the USB-C input. And so this is the correct reading. And I know that it's really dependent on which device you're going to use. So this laptop is charging perfectly fine. I think I'm not going to be able to get a reading from the 100 watt charging because the laptop doesn't probably work really well with that. I'm not sure what's going on because um, I doubt that this is the issue because I know I can get more power out of this. Um, it does charge the phones at, at a very good rate to the point where I really can't complain about it with even multiple devices plugged in. And these four USB ports down here, the red ones, uh, they do output uh, much better wattage because they don't have a quick charge or you know stuff like that. Um, it's just no data transfer. You, they pull out 15 watts, um, so that's pretty nice. Now this is not going to push out 320 watts, and it's also not going to push out 100 watts from the charging port on top, but it does pull out. Um, in my opinion, enough power for um, a 65 watt laptop and as well as, you know, other devices that you can plug into. And for me, this just has something to do with convenience. I think it's just much more convenient to be able to charge multiple devices. Um, it's not going to, again, I've mentioned this, I know there's nobody out there that's claiming this thing to be up outputting the um, marketed specification over here. It's not doing that because um, it just doesn't do that. I know that from other readings it doesn't uh, and I'm not able to get 100 watts showing on the output because I think the laptop is the issue that's just not accepting 100 watts or something and the phone does go to 15 watts on uh, these other chargers and it slowly goes up to 15 watts and I don't think it's the charger that's the issue that is just the way quick charge seems to be working. This is pretty much within expectation it's not going to push out 100 watts it's probably going to get about 65 when it's all the other, when you have other devices plugged in as well and um, you will be able to get that out of here at least um, that's why I actually bought, a big, bought this because I know with the other ones that have a smaller output or a smaller number they don't output um, even 65 watts to um, charge a laptop so yeah I'll see you guys in another video.